guys, here we have, we're going to have our official entry video into the small scale group build. And we're going to take a look at the, what we're planning on building for the small scale group build. Which is hosted by BG and Sean at the Scale Model Car Guide channel. So uh, what I'm going to do is continue with my Camaro Z28 trend that I have going on right now. If you've been watching the channel, we know we have the blue build going on. Which is for an 80, which includes an 85 Camaro Z28. So I figured for the small scale group build, we're going to continue this Camaro thing going on, but we're going to do it with the Atlantis 132nd scale 82 Z28, and we're going to see what we can do with that to continue our small scale group build chrome car tradition. And you know, and, well, you can call it a tradition because I've done two builds since the small scale group build started two years ago, and uh, a chrome car for each one. So, we're gonna somehow do something chrome with this, which uh, I have an idea already, which I've mentioned once before in my other video. If you want to know what it is, then you gotta go watch the other video. Ha <laughs> ha, shameless plug. All right, so let's open this up and see what we have to look forward to. First thing we're going to take a look at is the body. And you know what, for a small little kit like this, it's actually pretty nicely made. It's molded in a metallic blue uh, plastic. You know, if, if you didn't want to paint this, you could just build it as is and you'd have a nice similar rendition to what's on the box. But it is a metallic blue plastic. It looks pretty cool. You can actually see the metal flake in the plastic, which is uh, kind of neat. Actually, pretty, it looks pretty cool. It's got some nice detailing in the engine compartment. Very similar to the 85. I mean, it looks quite similar to the 85, which is a 124 scale. Let's compare the two. Let's do a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison to the engine compartments there and look at that it looks like everything that's in the 85 is in the 82 just at a smaller scale <laughs> that is actually pretty neat okay let's take a keep moving along with this all right now let's take a look at the interior which has again very similar to the 124 scale kit you would swear that these two kits were molded side by side except that the one is smaller as we have our interior tub with the rear seats already molded in the center console is already in there too again Similar to that, that's going to be interesting. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, but the thoughts are percolating. One thing this kit does bring are armrests, which the larger kit did not actually have to make those. And here, radiator, we have our rear, ah, our front suspension, our rear suspension, all very similar to what's in the larger kit. Here's our full exhaust, steering wheel, here's our belt assembly which has got quite a bit of flash on it, that's going to have to be cleaned up. Here's one mirror, I don't see the other mirror, this car should have two mirrors, so we're going to have to keep an eye out for look out for that, because it doesn't seem to be a spot for the other mirror anywhere here. Okay, here we have our tiny little engine and transmission assembly, which is kind of cool that it actually has that. And again, very similar to the larger Revell kit. It is a Revell kit, this, uh, yes, where it has two halves of the engine, and then the lower half of the engine is molded to the chassis. Speaking of which, let's take a look at that right here. Here we have a chassis that is almost identical to the larger one. Hmm. So this is going to be fun to detail and paint up. 
have to decide exactly what I'm going to do with this. Here's the top half of the engine, which again, very similar. Let me tell you something, if you've built the larger Ravel, you're pretty much going to be building this kit. Because they are just about identical. Let me give you guys a nice close-up on the uh, dash. Nicely molded, really crisp. Hmm. Even if, if Atlantis is using old molds for this, they're doing a really nice job. Because there's not a lot of flash, or not what you would expect on a kit of this vintage. Here's the front end. The rear bumper. Let's take a look at our hood here. On the side of the hood, we have a little bit of detail under the hood. Our seat backs. I haven't seen that second mirror, though. Should have two mirrors. And there is nothing in the bag. Let's take a look at our wheels and the chrome. And there we go. So we see one mirror, which is part number three. I'm not seeing the other mirror here anywhere. Let's take a look at the instructions and see if this thing only, does, only uses one mirror, which would be somewhat odd. There we go. The instructions are very similar to the monogram. If you've seen one, you've seen them both. And look at this, guys. It does only have one mirror. Only on the driver's side. That's sort of odd. As I recall don't recall these cars only having one mirror but that's all we get okay that's an interesting little quirk of this kit now let's take a look at our decals we have all of our striping oh I see so we have that on there for the lower sections and which means that Hmm. I don't know if we're going to be using these because I have some ideas for what I want to do with this car and uh, I don't know if those are going to be included in my ideas so we're going to have to see what we're going to do with that now let's take a look at the glass we have our rear hatch with the fogger lines in it hmm. those must be the headlights, tail lights more headlights and windshield so there we go guys that is the introduction to this year's small scale group build oh wait we didn't look at the tires let's take a look at these tires here uh, no name tires oh no they are na oh look at that Goodyear Eagle GTs wow even at this small size the tires are nicely detailed the dreads are pretty nice too so I can give you guys a better look at that. Let's see if it'll focus. Uh, let's see. There we go. Look at the tread on that. It's actually pretty nice. Wow. I'm kind of surprised at that. I've had this kit for a little while, but I've obviously since I had to unbag it now, I've never actually looked at it. So that's going to take it for the main part of our small scale group build. Now, if you watched one of my recent videos, if I can get through this in time, then I will be adding a bonus build to the small scale group build. Don't know if that's going to happen because my plans for this and get a little involved and then everything just gets wacky. But let me show you something. This is my first bonus car for this group build. If I can get these, well, these I'm sure I can get done in a day. Except uh, for the fact that I like to overcomplicate everything. And I already have my ideas for these two. 
So these may easily be blown right out. Tiny little, what's 170 second scale, Jaguar and Ferrari. I mean, it's a nice, the molding for the body is actually pretty nice for something this small. Very, very shallow lines as far as the panel lines. So I'll have to see if I can even engrave them at this small of a scale. Because I don't want to use, uh, engrave them too deeply and then have the panel gaps appear way too large. A mm, little bit of a deformation here. Let's see if it has it on the other side. Yeah, it's got that on the other side too, so that's gonna have to be fixed. Here we have our interior. We go our pedals. Our oh, there's the uh, windshield. And let's see what else is in here. Here is the chassis. And what you don't see very often anymore, look at that, made in the USA. These are from Glencoe. And here is the Ferrari sports car. You can see the body there, same thing, a little bit light on the engraving, but uh, nothing that uh, will be difficult to deal with. Take a look at the chassis right there. That's going to be a lot of fun painting going on there. And what we have left here are more of the Ferrari's interior parts. Here's our rear diff and axle. Windows, wheels, dash, steering wheel. So, this is going to be a fun little thing to put together. And as long as we have time, because our main focus is going to be that Camaro. But, if I do have time, you guys are going to get a bonus build. of the Glencoe European Cool Jaguar XK120 and Ferrari Sports Car. But wait, there's more! Our final part of this build, our final bonus car, if we have the time, that's a big if, it's gonna be our Highway Pioneers 1915 Fiat Tour. And this is in What scale is this? I'm trying to figure out what the scale is on this thing. Nineteen copyright 1953. It's small. I don't know what the scale is. I'm going to guess it is probably one thirty second. Judging by the size of the body. Wow, you can see it, tell this is old as the panel lines are raised, not engraved into the plastic. This is pretty neat. This is looking back at model car history here. Okay, how cool is that? And look at the shine on that plastic. I mean, it's really polished out. Oh, very nicely done. And the body comes in two halves. It's going to sit on the chassis here. And we'll take a... I'm going to guess that we're going to sit something like that. And see pegs and all sorts of different things here. Uh, oh, I'm going to guess it's going to sit something... No, that's not right. All right, well, we'll figure it out as we're going along. 
So that can't be the way it's going to sit, I don't think. Oh wait, but there is probably more parts missing here that go on the body. It's a ton of little parts in this car. But uh, yeah, it's a very nicely made... Hmm, 1954, so I guess this is that old. The instructions are really cool, as you can see all the little gift packs and things that you could have gotten back then. Complete with paints, brush, cement, packed in, packed in attractive boxes, with all old time cars are the perfect gift for all ages. Guys, I mean, how cool is this? I mean, this really is a look back in history. Here we have a parts breakdown. You really had to read when you put these together. Our painting instructions. Wow. This is weird. this is impressive. And then we have an entire catalog of things of other kits that you can pick up. So that's gonna be it guys. That's my intro to the small scale group build. And hopefully I will have time to do them all. If not, then you're definitely getting a Camaro. Alright guys. Let's I will see you on the next one where we will start actual construction. Can't wait.